All right, so Fester, you're telling me that this is the gas station you were trying to get to when you ran out of gas on I-4 a couple of weeks back? Yeah. Yeah, this is my spot. Oh, Froggy, you got to take a look at this because, uh, folks, if you don't know this, Froggy's real job is not this mess. No. Froggy's real job. What's really paying the mortgage. Do you guys have a mortgage on that house? Or did you, uh, you're making so much money over there, you paid that house off? Uh, yeah. The latter. <laughs> hold, hold. It's paid off. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Everything's paid off. <laughs> Cash over the lifestyle. All right, so you, I did see a 20 foot, what we call in the business, a gondola, which is a double sided wall in the shelving industry. Right. Yeah. It's an island. Yeah. Did you call it? Yeah. Saw a 20 footer take, just taken right out. All right, in the video that I'm about to talk about? Yes, sir. All right. Now, Fester, this is the gas station that you were headed to, that you were tempting fate. Can you imagine if Fester was in charge of, like, safety on that uh, Titanic thing? Oh, my God. All right. So, Fester, his real job, it's not this show. No, it's not. Uh, this. Fester's real job is uh, he works at General RV. And, you know, after we ended the MJ Morning Show back in 2012, uh, the crew had to go out and get a real job. Yeah. So, and, of course, we put the show back together, and we started back in October of 2020. So, Fester ended up selling RVs, and you were out at General RV, in Dover, off of I-4, right. you, you see it right off the interstate there, and your car, your new old 2010 Cadillac DTS, the replacement for the 2004 Lincoln Town car, yes. your needle is below E, the fuel light's on, yes. it, it says low fuel, and you decide to get on I-4 and try to drive four or five miles away to a gas station instead of getting gas very close to where you work. I, I thought I had five miles left. Yeah, what, what is it? I don't know. What's in your throat? <clears throat> I'm not sure. sure. So I thought I had five miles left, but I didn't. I got well, stuck obviously, on I-4, right? Fester ran out of gas on I-4. You had a pester the road rangers to come bring you a half gallon of gas. Well, I don't know if pester is the pester right word. Pester the pester. <laughs> if, if anything, it's job security for the road well, yeah, rangers. Yeah, okay, yeah. For morons like you that yes. run out of gas on an interstate. One, one of the worst, uh, most congested and accident-prone interstates in America, I-4, you run out of gas. Well, Fester that's, says that's what they're there for. I mean, listen, that is job security. If nobody broke down, if nobody ran out of gas, these road rangers, that's a budget cut. All right, whatever. All right, so Fester runs out of gas. He's trying to get to the Travel America in Sefner. Yeah. That's where Fester was. That was his goal. That was his target. That's where he was aiming his out-of-gas car when he ran out of gas and had to pull over on the shoulder on I-4. Did you see the video? Roxanne, have you seen this yet? I have not. Oh, my God. This Let's guy, like, over and see it. dude, like, deliberately drives through the Travel America uh, gas station. He goes through the convenience store. Uh, don't don't hit play yet. So let me just get the details here. So the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office, they're detailing that a man drove, I mean, virtually full speed through this gas station, Travel America, right off I-4 in Sefner on Tuesday morning. Anthony Katash, or is it Katash, or is it Katosh? It's the guy's last. I've never seen this last name. K A T O C H. Anthony K A T Katash, 37 years old. They say he was speeding, slammed his Kia Forte into the front doors of the Travel Centers of America. Is that what the TA? Yeah, the big TA, the uh, silver I think, like, uh, pillar with the uh, red uh, and blue TA. Yeah, when I see TA, I think it. Bleeps and ass. You know, I, 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 listen, I'm just, I'm just being honest. With, right. Whenever I see that TA for Travel America, I, what are you well, laughing one at? One of the many reasons why I love to go there. Oh, yeah, what are you laughing at? Yeah, I mean, why Am, am I entertaining you, you over here? You're, you're entertaining me. I mean, it's that's a, a TNA Travel Center? That's a good trip right there, right? <laughs> yeah. and, and there's plenty of that at the location in Sefner. All right, so this is at 11706 mm. uh, Tampa Gateway Boulevard in beautiful downtown Sefner. According to the sheriff's office, the HCSO, this guy was pulling into the store, and I, I guess he was hit by a speeding vehicle. Uh, so a guy was walking in the store at the time of the crash. 
And this dude was pinned mm. between the driver's side door and the vehicle. I, I, so I'm trying to get a picture of this. Uh, the security video video is is insane. Do we? I, I see the car smash through, but do we see the victim? Uh, unbelievably, no serious injuries here. This is unbelievable. Have you ever been in a building when a car came crashing through? No, I have not. I have. Oh, where the hell was that? In New York City, I was sitting in a hotel lobby, and just I, it was like a random lobby I chose. I got my Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Wait, you just then, randomly just walked into a lobby? Yeah, I did. I did because I had. Why do you drink your coffee and donut in in a in the Dunkin' Donuts when there's a pretty New York hotel lobby across the way? I was I was just trying to get oh. a feel of the city. So you're freeloading. Yeah, yeah, and I was waiting. I was where like, in the city was this? What part? I, I have. I'm not good with stuff like that. Okay. It, it's um. Like the, Midtown, know, Lower Manhattan, maybe Upper East Side, Chelsea Street. One of those three. There's no Chelsea Street <laughs> oh. near the tall buildings. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But I was waiting to do a press junket, and so I was like having my coffee, reading my notes, sitting in the lobby, and a freaking car drove through, shattered all the glass, like. <laughs> Three quarters of the car was in the lobby, wow. and like there were people that were there that could have been hit moments earlier. And but I thought it was a bomb, but it was a car. So security video shows this Kia Forte, which is a very fine model, yeah. uh, crashing into the gas station, drives through the entire store. It wipes out this massive section of shelving with all kinds of uh, convenience store items. It wipes out this shelving like it was made out of balsa wood, like it was a prop. Yes. I will tell you, that is the candy bar and nut shelf. <laughs> okay? Yeah, you I know should... this store very well. <laughs> yeah, so this is Fester's Travel America. This is where he was trying to fill up when he ran out of gas on I-4. Deputies say, uh, along with crews from Hillsborough County Fire and Rescue, they immediately started aiding the victim. Uh, who, along with the driver, was taken to Tampa General, non-life-threatening injuries. We're taking a look at this mugshot right here of Anthony Kaddish. Yeah. And I, I do want to point out, it said earlier he was 37 years old in yeah. the article. He looks a little, he's a little more the, trail dust than 37. He's the roughest 37 I've yeah. seen right? in a while. Yeah. Uh, the footage of the car smashing through the business and straight into a victim is jarring, to say the least. That's what Sheriff Chronister said. It is an absolute miracle that the person pinned by the car did not sustain more serious injuries, and we're glad to hear he'll be okay. Yeah, the detectives are saying that the crash was not an accident. And this Caddish guy, this Anthony Caddish, he's been charged with criminal mischief of $1,000 or more. Driver was also Baker acted. So that seems to indicate that the guy is, uh, you know, mentally unwell, that you know, he's not playing with a full deck. Anyway, have you, you got to see the video here, guys. Uh, I, I don't think there's any audio on the video. This is the uh, this is a Fox 13 uh, uh, piece. Thank you. Yeah. And pins a customer. Did you see it happen real quick? Yeah. Here's a video from inside. Oh my Jeez. God! This is the Travel Centers of America <gasps> on uh, Tampa Gateway Boulevard. Yeah. Another camera. I I mean, he takes a whole section out. Now, Froggy, you. you Watch the video, and yes, sir. because you're a shelving expert, yes. you can tell us exactly that. That's called what? That looks like a about an 84 inch high. This is around midnight, yeah. Gondola, yeah, yeah. yeah. which this is, is a double sided wall yeah, section. Looks like about three upper yeah. shelves each section. Looks about 20 hmm. feet long. What's the cost of that? How, uh, you know, aside from all the merchandise that loaded the shelves, what's the actual physical cost of the for a twenty foot run? Yeah, double sided. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you yeah. know, four hundred, five hundred bucks. That's it. Yeah, it's not that expensive. Just kidding. Five thousand dollars. <laughs> it's about to say it's more. Going to say four hundred bucks. Give me a break. No, it's like a couple grand. Uh, this is unbelievable. Customer, did you see it happen real quick? Yeah. Uh, so the, the customer is yeah. on the first camera yeah. shot. Is that it? Hang on. Customer, did you see it happen? To a gas station in Sefner and pins a customer. Did you see? Oh, oh yeah! Car? Look at on the first <laughs> shot, you can see the car plow in and the customer gets nailed. And then there's another video <laughs> angle and it just yeah. wipes yeah. out. It just take hits the section head on and just obliterates about twenty feet of shelving, double sided like aisle shelving. What, 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 that was nuts and beef jerky? What, what was on that, yeah, Fester? Yes, beef jerky also, but primarily it's nuts, <laughs> seed nuts, like sunflower seeds, and uh, candy bars. Now, apparently, this is not the typical... 
No, Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office, they're saying this was intentional. And this guy's like, what, what whacked out of his head if he's uh, been Baker acted? They must not think that he's mentally in the right state. So it was intentional. What caused this guy to want to drive his uh, his Kia Forte through the Travel America, through the TNA? If he would have veered just a little bit to the left, he would have hit the hot dog rollers. And then plowed into the fountain drink machine. I, what, what, I can love you, that you, can have... you draw me a map of the inside of the Travel America? <laughs> I can. I, I can recite the entire place. He has the layout in his head you perfectly. Know the, you know what the best part about this TA Were is? Were the David sunflower seeds on the aisle that he took out? Yes. Okay. Yes, the sun, I, that's the seed in that aisle. I, 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 I just... <laughs> the best part about this uh, Travel America is that there's a Popeye's in there, too. Oh, there's wow. A Popeye's and an Arby's. Wow, love that chicken from Popeye's. Oh, there's an Arby's as yeah, well? Yeah, so really, it's uh, Jeez. everything you want right there. Can we watch that video one more time? Yeah, yeah, roll back faster. All right. Okay, you know, when you, you know when Absolutely. someone says... Someone Arby's, says, we have the meats. All right, are you not hearing that I'm playing sound effects? Yeah, I am, but... Okay, I, all right. Just talk over me okay. anyway, it's all right. All right. Yeah. Go so, ahead. What were we going to say? If that's the definition of coming in hot. You know whenever you say, hey, I'm coming in hot. Just like the Arby's beef. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Arby's, we have the meat. Wow. Yeah, we have the crash. Yeah, this video is, is just stunning. And you know what? Uh, do me a favor, Andrew. Do you have the video already up on the website? Uh, Andrew should have it up momentarily. If you haven't seen this, we'll have the link. It is up. Andrew is giving me the thumbs up. It's up. Uh, MJMorningShow.com. Just go to our page and you'll see videos mentioned. Videos mentioned on the MJ Morning Show. Go to that at mjmorningshow.com, and we have the link to the video where he obliterates this thing. You can even see the parking lot footage from the outside, and you can see like there's a puff of like smoke where he drives through the the doors and the glass window to get into the truck. This guy just deliberately plowed through. What a lovely mugshot. <laughs> 